Hey folks, I'm back with a new PBR friend battle. Uh, my opponent today is the awesome Tyranitar. Uh, check out his channel, even though I don't think he uploads anything yet. Um, anyway, so this is a doubles match with my Isabella team, which is my Trick Room team. Um, and he's using Pokemon, which, as I've stared at them, I really think they'd be better off suited for um, singles play. But I asked him, and he said no, he definitely wanted to do a doubles match. So uh, here we are. Uh, Main Street Coliseum, and I'm going with, you know, uh, one of my two standard leads, which is Uxy and, um, and Polion. Um, nice for setting up a trick room. And anyway, he leads off with his Titar and his Dragonite. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with a Blizzard to try to take out that Dragonite. Um, unfortunately, he predicts that and calls back Dragonite um, and decides to send out instead Snorlax. Um, so uh, he's going to go ahead and use Payback on Tyranitar, um, which only does 50 damage instead of or 50 base damage instead of 100 because I'm using Trick Room, so therefore I have the lowest priority possible. Um, Blizzard goes ahead and it does hit both of his Pokemon, um, but it doesn't do anything to either of them um, since they're both pretty bulky and it's not stab or super effective against either of them. But anyway, now I have the Trick Room up and I should be slower than both of them. Uh, I'm going to pull out Patrick with a U-turn, uh, which will deal super effective damage to Tyranitar, but even so, it isn't, isn't really doing much. Um, and I pull back Uxie, and I'm going to send out Metagross in its place in just a few seconds. Um, yeah. So, out goes Metagross, who will be able to deal super effective hits to both of these guys with uh, Hammer Arm. Snorlax goes ahead and uses Crunch, which is not super effective against um, my Metagross. Um, and Metagross has beastly defenses anyway, so that's all well and good. Samba goes ahead and uses Grass Knot uh, against Tyranitar because I figured it would take it out, um, and I wanted the added accuracy. I didn't want Hydro Pump to miss. So I do take out his T-Tar, and I get the first KO of the match, um, and that's nice. And he goes ahead and sends Dragonite back out. Um, which I find interesting. Snorlax goes ahead and uses Flamethrower on the next turn, being the slowest Pokemon on the field, um, and activates my Akaberry, which as you can see was a complete waste of an Akaberry. Uh, you know, that attack didn't do any damage to begin with. Um, Samba goes ahead and uses Blizzard, um, but both of his Pokemon avoid it, which sucks. But it is what it is. Uh, Uchikoma, that's my Metagross, goes ahead and uses a super effective Hammer Arm, which gets the crit, although I'm not sure whether the crit mattered. Um, but I do get the KO, and I've taken down, uh, now two of his Pokemon, uh, so I'm do I'm feeling pretty good. Um, meanwhile, Dragonite goes ahead and uses Fire Punch, so, um, I, I wish the Akaberry had still been around for this, um, but it doesn't KO, um, Uchikomo survives with a decent amount of health, um, but it does do a lot of damage. Um, anyway, uh, he sends out Lucario next, and both of my guys should be slower, so I go ahead and use Hammer Arm which will be super effective against Lucario and delivers the one-hit KO. I was pretty glad that he didn't have Focus Sash, um, which might have been a useful item for him, but who knows what he actually had. Anyway, Blizzard uh, activates his Yachi Berry, um, but now that there's only one Pokemon on the field, it'll get an added um, power boost, and it is enough to take out Dragonite in one hit. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I've now taken out four of his Pokemon, and all of mine are still on the field. And so he has to send out his last two Pokemon, which are Gyarados and, as you're about to see, Crobat. Um, so uh, the Trick Room is about to end, uh, and but I'm, I'm thinking I might be able to, you know, end it and this battle before the Trick Room ends. But I go ahead and send out Tianchi because it does well in both Trick Room and non-Trick Room settings. Uh, Uchikoma goes ahead and uses Psychic, um, which is super effective against Crobat, but does not deliver the KO, uh, which I'm surprised. I mean, Crobat's a really bulky Pokemon. But uh, anyway, uh, Uchikoma is taken out by a, a Stab Waterfall from his Gyarados. Um, that guy finally went down after you know taking a bunch of hits. Uh, really impressed with Uchikoma in this battle. Um, Crobat goes ahead and uses Air Slash against Tianchi, which doesn't do very much damage since... Um, I'm, uh, my Dragonite is bulkier than anything. Um, and the Trick Room goes down, so I get to send out Pazuzu, who will be faster than his guys. Um, and I go ahead and go for the Priority Extreme Speed to take out Crobat, um, so that uh, I'm left with only uh, Gyarados to worry about. Um, and that I can just take care of with a uh, super effective Thunderbolt, 
um, which activates his Wakan Berry, um, but taking down a 4x effectiveness into a 2x effectiveness, I don't know if it's the best idea, um, does a lot of damage but does not take him out. And now, uh, he, since he's the last one uh, to attack, uh, Avalanche gets a priority, or gets a added power, and uh, the question is, who will survive the, um, the Sandstorm? So Pazuzu obviously survives, Gyarados falls, and the question now is whether this is a 5-0 or a 4-0 battle um, to see whether uh, Dragonite survives, and Dragonite does survive with a sliver of HP. So the awesome Tyranitar, excellent battle. Um, I hope to battle you again someday. Um, and I hope everyone else in the audience enjoyed this battle. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.